got an old 2005 Blazer here. Um, this uh, this car uh, had a fuel tank leak. Um, right up by the fuel tank, there's a a quick connect fitting um, from from this side over here. It goes over to the tank, and this quick connect was the this little piece of tubing here. Sorry about the greasy fingers. This little piece of tubing here uh, goes off to the to the fuel filter, and it's got quarter inch nylon line on it. And it was leaking. This was all rusted out and leaking. <clears throat> and there's no way that I could have got this out. It's just jammed and rusted in there, and that's why it's all crushed and, and broken. So I ended up having to cut this this fitting off, this quick connect off, uh, just up by the tank. And that line is 3 8 nylon. So it goes from 3 8 nylon and then out and then to quarter inch nylon over to the fuel filter. The dumbest thing I've ever seen anyway. Well, not maybe ever seen, but it's, it's pretty dumb. So when I cut this off, I had to go and find other fittings that, that would, would, that I'd be able to get in here. And I knew that I couldn't just use a barbed fitting in this end of the line because there's no way I could have got the barb slid in there because I only had like maybe maybe two inches of uh, line sticking out above the tank. It's kind of hard to get at and reach at, reach to, especially when you're working on the ground. So what I did was I uh, I went and shopped around and it took me almost a whole day. I shopped at all kinds of places in town, and uh, I'll show you what I've what I've got rigged up here. Here I am under here I am underneath the car, and uh, you can see where the old quick connect was. It there was a uh, it's nylon tubing up on the left there. There's nylon tubing, and it had rubber over top of it. I had to cut the rubber back, so there's not a lot of room to work in here. And it's kind of high up on the vehicle. I don't know if you can see. It's like there's all kinds of crap in the way, and I'm just working on the ground. So I knew I couldn't get a barbed fitting on there. So what I picked up was one of these little Dorman quick connect units that it where the nylon tubing just slides in so that uh, that resolved my issue was able to to squeeze that on there I did uh, when I first started up the car I did have a bit of a fuel leak on the left hand side I just had to jam it in another like an eighth of an inch just to get it to connect I guess there's some kind of a, a rubber o-rings or something in there that's uh, you just gotta get it slid in properly and then uh, I, I had a heck of a time finding another little chunk of 3 8 line. Uh, it's sold by the 25-foot roll, and I didn't want to buy $80 worth of 20-foot, 25-foot uh, roll just to, re, you know, to do this repair. So I ended up buying a, another quick connect fitting that had 3 8 tube on it and just cut a piece of tube off. It cost me like 12 bucks or something. I don't really care. And then from the from that three eighths tubing, it goes down to a, a barbed fitting on these uh, on these brass fittings here, and then uh, on this side, it's uh, another barbed fitting which is quarter inch. So it's three eighths on one side, quarter inch on the other. I put a couple clamps on there on this end because it was just a little loose. Uh, the clamps are a little bit too big, but they're they're tight. So and uh, there's no fuel leak. So that resolved my issues. Uh, it was uh it was about an hour to do the repair, but it was about a day and a half shopping around trying to find the parts. Now apparently, I don't know if Dorman sells them or not, but you, I see them on eBay. You can actually get quick connects that are reducers that uh, would go from a three eighths to a, a one quarter inch line. That would have resolved the issue with having to find all these stupid fittings. Um, you know, I'd find one fitting one place and another fitting at another. It just seems like local places just don't seem to want to stock this stuff anymore. And uh, the other issue was finding a chunk of line. I, you know, I went to a few mechanics I know and stuff, and uh, just uh, just a pain in the butt. But I got it uh, resolved now, and there's no leak. So uh, I'm just gonna take this thing off the ramp. I'll cut the ends off those tie wraps, and and away we go.